best that I can, and maybe like maybe a slow too. But I think I get what you're asking. But uh, anyway, I'll try to walk through and just see if this helps at all. Um, let me move this out of the way. <clears throat> so when you go on an Odyssey, you want it to set up to where you've got the pre-test before the post-test, just like you said, and before the unit. So what you have to do is you talking to me. No, I'm talking to my computer. I really, I'm, I'm recording a screen capture for Elizabeth. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, But what you'll do is, like, say, I got to create one. Hold on, let me see what let me see what I've already got built. I'll make one right quick. Uh, assignment archive, and like I said earlier, anytime you create an assignment, it goes in here. I have a ton of assignments because, like I said, I use this a lot to kind of stay afloat. And I did not use it to the way that you're quote unquote supposed to use it, but it still worked for me. So, um, let's see what I got. I got cell biology. Okay. Let me see what the next unit is in my pre AP unit. So, it would be biochemistry, I believe. So, we'll do biochemistry. So, what you'll do, go to assessment like we did earlier, go to test builder. And then you're going to go Alabama, end of course, doesn't matter either one. Uh, I'm actually going to go with end of course, just because I know that we got to prepare them for that. Biology, level high school, but next. All right, so as you can see, since this is end of course, it's all kind of scrambled. Like here, scientific process has biology 11. And then you scroll on through and it's got biology 21, and it's not in order at all. But that is okay because you don't necessarily have to go in order just as long as you get the things that you need to as long as you cover the standards. So uh, I think that's, I, I guess, that's where I'm, or what you're asking, I'm not, I'm not real sure. But, uh, so what you'll do first, this is actually the post-test. You create the post-test first. And I know that seems kind of like backwards, but... In the end, it'll allow you to do something really cool, and I'll talk about that here in a second. But let's see. I will be biochemistry is what I, or bioenergetics is what I did. So energy in the cell, um, cell reproduction, greater amino acids, peas, DNA. According to this, it's going to be a relatively short little test, so I might actually use this just as a quiz. But just to kind of show you, I have to do a little more research on it to make sure that it works. But just click next, go through. There's my one, two, three, four, five, six questions that'll be on the test. So next, I'm gonna name it Bioenergetics. Bioenergetics. I think that's right. Close enough. I'm not worried about. It. So keep that at seventy, just because that's what I wanted to do. Build learning path. Yes, keep all that the same. We'll go next. Confirmation. Yes, save. Should go to this. We'll name it Bio, bio Energetics Test. It's got my learning path and it's got my post test. All right, you build the post test so you can go back and create the pre test off the post test. And I'll show. And what that allows you to do is. Uh, when all this is said and done, they take it, you can print out what's called a report. And uh, I'm not going to sign any classes. You'll have some classes in here once you get them built. Um, oh, I have to. So put it in the bottom. Uh, but the report allows you to see the student's progress from the pre test to the post test. And that's why you got to create the post test first. Uh, you actually just text me, as you should say. Yeah, you talk talking about the quality core thing. Um, oh come on, hurry up and work. Thank you. But the report, it will only work if you do it this way. All right, so we're going to go to assignment archive. We're going to find my bioenergetics or whatever you called it test. And it's going to be slow, of course. And there's your text message coming through. Bowers Energetics Test. So I click on that and we'll go open a copy. This is our actual pre-test. So we're going to go Bioenergetics Pre 
test. All right. And so what you can do now is, do you want it to have this learning path or not? If you're going to use Odyssey to teach this little section of, or your, this unit, I would keep the learning path in there. But you don't have to do that. You can click and remove if you want to. I'm going to keep mine in there just because I like to have it in there to where I use it as supplemental things. So we'll go complete assignment. This, this, this. So toolkit. No, I'll assign it later. Close. All right. So now, what will happen is now the 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 uh, the what I'm trying to say. Lecture lectures will be all scrambled like you said earlier, but now you've got your pretest and your post-test. So kids take the pretest, they make whatever they make. Uh, not a big deal. This is really just for you. If if they make like you know class average is a 75 that means that you can really fly through this you can cover this real quick and then if it's not you know you gotta kinda cover it pretty well this is kinda like a formative assessment it's not a summative I guess that's what what they're called anyway and then when you get done you give them their bioenergetics test so when they take their test looks like this Here's the questions. Just pretty straightforward. Multiple choice. Usually got a good figure or something to look at. Well, they get finished with it. They make a 70 or above. They don't get any of this. And in, in my class, if you make a 70 or above, you make a you know you make a uh, you make a 70 percent out of 50 plus the 50 for the learning path because you you were exempt from it. Uh, so really you make what? Seven what is seventy percent of you know, you're gonna make like an eighty something, like an eighty five or an eighty six. But if you don't make that, you just take the percent of fifty and then you add once they get completed with this, this learning path, they get the other fifty points. Alright, what's neat about the learning path? They're gonna hate it, I'll be honest. But this is a loop. They watch this video, they take this quiz they don't pass this quiz, that's what the question mark means, they get looped back to the video. And it's a, just a repeatable process until they get through this. When, after they pass this, they move to photosynthesis. Loop, 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 loop. Activity quiz, do you pass it? Activity quiz, do you pass it? Lesson quiz. Alright, here's the thing. I try to freak them out by saying that you have to pass the lesson quiz. Or you start all over. That makes them take it really seriously. So, they have to pass it, or they have to take it over, which is not necessarily true because you can see right here, it doesn't have the arrows and the question mark indicating that it's going to be a loop. So, just kind of one of those things, I try to make them take it seriously. Alright, well, that's how you create an assessment. Um, the report here, I'll show you a report right quick. Uh, There we go. Alright, so this is how it will show up if you don't create it like that. So you've got their first score. Let's see, this was a DNA post test. And you can see class average was a 70. Dead on the nose. You know, I, I wish I, you know, a couple of people could have done better. She had a problem with a computer, so you know, you just gotta kind of fly by the seat of your pants with that. Uh, but as you can see, most of these kids wind up having to go through a uh, learning path. So let's just say this gentleman made an extremely good grade, no learning path. So we go 92% of 50, then plus 50. And you'll wind up making better than a 92, I believe. So let's go 0 0.92 times 50. Then you got to go asterisk. 50. 46, yeah, you want to make it a 96. So, I think doing the 50, 50 way, in my opinion, does a good job because it allows somebody that, let's just say they had a bad day on the test or they something happened the night before and, and they couldn't study or they're just not that great of a test taker. If you can do halfway decent on the test, it doesn't really matter if you fail it or not. Well, you can't fail it because you'll want it with a bad grade anyway. But let's just say you make a 67 or a 65. You do your learning path, get it all completed by the deadline, and you get a better grade. 
a lot better grade. So anyway, that's that's pretty much that. Uh, I'm gonna try to save this video and send it to you. If not, it'll be on YouTube. So uh, any more questions, just holler at me.